found a place that's secure for now that I can make this recording. If these recordings ever do get found by anybody, there has to be, the truth has to come out. There has to be some kind of justice. The marker is the name of this alien artifact that was discovered on the planet below. It's what's caused the people to become these hideous, monstrous atrocities. They just kill indiscriminately. Then the convulsions start. Muscle spasms. I found this all out because of the the video and text logs I've been discovering around the ship. The scientists in charge of the USG Shimura discovered that the people on the colony of the planet below had been affected by the marker, that they had turned into these creatures. Somehow they managed to cover it up and they brought this damn evil thing on board. The inevitable result was that the crew was affected as well. And even those responsible for this heinous and frankly insane act of bringing this this thing on board themselves became these creatures. Object of an alien world could do this to people. But I can't find any other explanation. And the evidence seems to speak for itself in the recordings that I've found the documented information. It's too late for justice. But at least if the truth comes out, at least that's something for the memories of these people who've suffered a fate worse than death. I'm falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. It's strange. Such a little thing. Welcome to my channel, I am here, Saldraz, and welcome back to Dead Space. Oh yes, it's quite wonderful to be here again, with Isaac. Aboard the USG Ishimura. Oh, it's such a wonderful place to be. Everything's so shiny. Everything feels so good. And just listen to all these wonderful sounds. Doesn't that feel great? What, what was that you said, sorry? It's almost like I'm hearing things. Okay, which way do we go now? What was... Did something existing? I, I thought, I'm pretty sure I heard a voice saying something existing. Ah yes, so that is in fact the way that we must go, and I think, therefore I am. Uh, did I come from here? This is stupid. Did I come from here? Well, something's dead, and there's a door. Yes, yeah, this is where I came from. This is where I came from. Okay. Let's just head on up here. Because now we know the way. And we've been here. We've done that. This has all been done. I have to just uh, get my goldfish memory in, in line. CEC Imagining Diagnostics Lab. Ishimura crew members, welcome to the lab. If you have been referred to the lab, please have your referral form and CEC authentication ready. Then proceed to the lab office. Thanks, lab staff. I'll be not doing that. I'm feeling oddly confident. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, are you okay? Well, that was disturbing. I don't think he's going to make it, folks. Hang on a minute. Yo. His head looks like it's already a skull. How is that possible? He's only just... Oh, well. Nothing I can do. And that is the case in point of exactly what happens when you listen to the voices for too long and do what they tell you to do. 
which is just never a good idea. Oh, hello. Sea Spa Service. Safe hands anywhere in the galaxy. Yep. I feel that aboard this ship. Counseling services. <laughs> Trouble with life off world. Do you miss the atmosphere? Have you recently been diagnosed with a serious illness? We're here to provide you with top tier counseling and support. Depression, terrestrial longing, terminal illness, such as turning into a horrendous alien creature and morphing into something with giant talons instead of arms and eyes heading in the wrong direction. With a distinct hunger for anything else that's alive and isn't heavily morphed and distorted. Y you could just imagine the uh, one of the necromorphs just, just, <laughs> just calls in <laughs> for counselling. No, okay, this is getting weird now. Right, where are we? Credits. Oh, wow. Somebody's been having a close look at this little fella. Uh, yes, the button that I press is actually Y. No, it isn't. It's X. How do I? No, it isn't. It's... I'll get there in the end. It's B. I just forget the basic controls. You <laughs> played the game yesterday. Right. Oh, well, never mind. Um, okay, here we go. And stamp. Let's do this. Oh, I actually thought that was a pair of legs then. Then I thought it was robot legs. Then I thought, well, robot legs don't bleed. And then... God. It's just so confusing in this place. Am I already being affected? Hi! You forgot to say please! Never forget to say please. Or thank you for that matter. Right, here we go. Now we've got to get the circuit breaker in there. This I remember. This I know. This has stayed with me. <laughs> here we go. From the, the, the first original game, that is, I'm talking about. I mean, I remember most things. It's just certain details. Right, here we go. Uh, doors and elevators. Yeah, can I turn them both on? Apparently not. Should we start with doors? Let's start with doors. Let's have a little look in here. He's being scanned. Not sure why. Yo! Now that really does... Where is that coming from? Yo, baby! Well, that was a good waste of ammo. There's more. Is there more? Ah, the music stops, I guess there's, there's more. Level two security clearance. I'll give you level two security clearance. To upgrade your boots, sir. Uh, there, Isaac. You just bust straight through that level two security clearance. Crap. Get what you need from the boxes. Have a look at the bench. See what we can upgrade. Oh, yeah. Plasma cutter. Uh, we got capacity. We got capacity. Reload. And then more damage. So, I got two nodes. Uh, pulse rifle. Capacity damage. Hmm. Suit. Size. Ah, stasis zone size. Duration. Uh, yeah, duration would probably be the best thing, I reckon, now. Duration. Mm hmm. Some size, stasis, zone, size. Well, it means I can freeze two at once, doesn't it? If they're together. 
I think I'll I think I'll forget that for now. Plasma cutter, yeah. Get the capacity up. Head towards more damage. Maybe. Hmm. I haven't even used the pulse rifle yet. I think I'll get the capacity of the pulse rifle up. I think that would be a prudent course of action. Okie dokie. Oh. Yes, here we go. Right. What else we got to do in here? Nothing much. Let's move on. Alrighty. Alrighty then. We got an elevator. We've got a door. We've unlocked the doors, but the door is still locked. Was there another door? Was there another door? Yep. There was another door. There was another door. You must rely on all your senses. I hear the tests on patient Harris were inconclusive. Given the reports from the colony, he's lucky to have his faculties at all. Well, a divine experience would leave an impression on anyone's mind. Perhaps. But I saw nothing divine in all that blood. The suicides. This is a revelation, Terence. We just need more insight to translate it. You think this insight can be found in Mr. Harris's psyche? I'm positive. And with Captain Matthias barring any visits to Aegis 7, this fellow may be our best chance. Harris is Dr. Brennan's patient. And your methods... Look, Mercer, things are complicated enough already. I can't sign off on this. You'll do what's best, of course, but... How long can we afford to wait? Wow, there's some really humane stuff that's been going on in this, uh, this laboratory. Foul and disgusting experiments. They shall pay. I think they've already paid. Oh, I'm going to be the one paying next. Yo, I can't even see it. There he is. Is there another one? No, it's just that one. Hi! That was well. Well, I can hear the voice of... I can hear a lovely voice in the background. Just lovely. He sounds like maybe he's got something stuck in his tooth. I don't know. But I can tell he's waiting to say hi. It's just... Uh, What do we do with this? Drag it over, and then we walk on it. That's what we do. Yo. I could redo with the stasis refill right about now. Uh, yep. Okay. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anything over here? Anything at all? No. Hang on, that's where I came from. <laughs> Not full circle. Okay, that's fine. Full circle is okay. Full circle teaches us valuable lessons. Oh, hi! I knew you were nearby. I knew he was nearby. He was just waiting to say hello. He was just waiting so patiently all that time. Just for me. Just for I. Just for Isaac. Me, myself, and Isaac. It's just me, myself, and Isaac. Ha! <laughs> yes. And of course, all of you watching. All of just everybody. Yes, let's get that refilled. Earth. Spring, mountain, back home, flavor. 
That's interesting. It's almost as if she's holding a dagger and it's a hillside. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Okay. Anybody waiting in here? Probably not. As it is a save point. Let's save it. Let's save it. Please like and subscribe if you're enjoying the video. Let's keep going. Deeper into the dark depths of this ship. To get to the truth. To get to the inky, murky truth of what really happened. Aboard the USG Ishimura. Entering vacuum. Ah. Entering zero gravity. This is when I have a limited oxygen supply. Great. Just wasted oxygen looking for... Am I back in oxygen? No, I'm not yet. That's down here. Well, that's comforting. Well, that's comforting. Now I have air again. Use boost and suit thrusters to navigate in zero gravity. Now, this is what I've been waiting for. Uh, LB and RB. Okay take off. Let's do this, folks. Let's do this. It's flying time. The fact that I can shoot while flying kind of makes me feel uncomfortable. Um, L, well, actually, it, it, it's comforting, but it, at the same time, I know what it means. It means that somebody is going to... Something is going to be heading in my direction. Oh! Anybody got a spot of uh, vertigo? A spot of uh, motion sickness? I hope not. Eat your ginger biscuits, folks. Kids. That's how you avoid the... Uh, that's how you avoid it. Exiting zero gravity. Damn vending machine still doesn't work. I could do with a meat coast snack right now. Barbecue. Although it kind of looks uh, raw. But <laughs> Assurance. Now what would be really freaky is if those suits came alive. Started dancing around. Doing the flamenco. Hydrizer. What's happening there? I found some hydrazine that should work on the barricade. Hydrazine. I'm heading back there now. Be careful with that hydrazine. I'm not losing anyone else. I think that Isaac is the last person you should worry about losing. Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe he's the first person you should worry about losing, but he's the least likely to lose. Oh, hello. Something up there. Can't get it. But I can pick it up with this. Now, isn't that clever? Good job, Isaac can use the force. Entering zero gravity. This is where the fun's going to begin, folks. Are you ready? It's flying monster time. There you go. Where'd you go, little buddy? Can I stamp him? I don't think I can stamp him. <laughs> Ooh, it's making me feel weird. Oh, I love the boost. That's just awesome. That boost is just awesome. Oh, hang on. Damn it! <laughs> Wasting ammo now. Oakley, diddly doakley, then let's just roll on over. 
roll on up. Here we go. Counseling services. What you'll need after one hour aboard the USG Shimura. It's just the whole ship. I'll check it out. You do that. You do that. Oh, great. Now what? Oh, I've got to fly. Okay. Gotta fly, folks. Oh, I can refill my oxygen. I didn't even know that. I did not even know that. I did not even know that. Oh, hello. No, don't go away. I need you. Oh, there you go. Nearly missed that. Oh god, he's just so not moving. He is so not moving. He is so not moving. And you're dead. And you're dead. And you're dead. Yo, that was a whole lot of fun. Yo, that was a whole lot of fun. One step out of the captain's nets and Chen, that thing, he almost got me. You okay? I trapped him in a damaged escape pod. I'm literally out of ammo. Life. This is fucked up. Hurry, Isaac. I'm literally out of ammo. That is not good. That is not good. Some schematics. Pulse round schematics. Okie dokie. Flickery lights. Oh, wow. Thank you. That was wonderful. Hi. Why aren't you dying? Shit. He's getting stuck. He's getting stuck. A little bit stuck there, folks. A little bit stuck. But it's okay. But it's okay. Still no pulse rod. I mean, uh, bleh, 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 bleh. still no plasma. Cut your ammo. Can I just... They just don't know how to be polite, these necromorphs, do they? It's around the corner. What is around the corner? What is around the corner? You never know what's around the corner. Oh, I'm back here again. Now I do know what's around the corner. Now I know exactly what's around the corner. And I've come full circle. And that is okay. <laughs> and I shall return to reply, restock, regroup, and reload. Just slap that baby on there. Uh, that's not going to count down by any chance, is it? I'll just go ahead and save. <laughs> Always a good idea. What do you think of the game so far, folks? Tell me in the comments down below. 
Oh, Isaac's busy. Okie dokie. Destroy the barrier completed. Find the captain's body. Objective updated. Okay. Now I can't. Oh, yeah. Okie dokie. Let's get some stuff. We've got some schematics submitted. Now available for purchase. And I think I'll be getting myself some of these lovely plasma cutter rounds, because I'm a bit short now. But I also need to sell. Do I have anything to sell? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. Well, let's, let's buy. Let's buy a bit. Let's buy a few. Let's, let's buy a few. And uh, uh, let's get a bit of help. All right. Yeah, let's get a bit of help. And uh, uh, yeah. Okay, that should do it. Reload. Lock and load, baby. Okay. Hero Jelly, it works. Soft. Hero Jelly, it works. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what is that supposed to do? Is that, is that like olive oil stuff to cook your food with or protein jelly? You squeeze it straight on the arm or, or drink it? <laughs> what, what, what do you do? <laughs> I need to get me some of that. Oh, hello. That's being, that, that is being ammunition conservative. Oh, look at that beautiful fire. Oh, look at these beautiful sparks. Isn't it just so utterly gorgeous? Yes, it is. Okay, let's go. Okie diddly dokily then. Remember, when you reach the morgue, find Captain Matthias' body. Get his rig codes and the computer's all ours. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Help me, help me, help me. 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 Okay. That's fine. Sorry, Wiffle. <laughs> Sorry, Wiffle. Can't help you. Wiffle. That's it. Wiffle. All right. We got some stuff. Oh shit, that's right. We got some stuff. We got some glowy boxes. We got some glowy boxes. We got a text log. Harris is asleep after another dose of sedative. He seems literally unable to sleep without med uh, chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after more than 50 hours of waking, regardless of circumstances. Not Harris. His bizarre explanation of the events on the colony point to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere, planet side. His guilt is not in doubt. Two security uh, officers were present when he took Dr. Scariello hostage and murdered Nurse Evans. And Harris doesn't deny his actions, but he shows no remorse. In fact, he insists there was no crime. It's a bit... <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to get Columbo in there to, to sort him out, you know. Specifically, that Evans wasn't a nurse when he killed her. This is classic sociopathic behavior, but, but Harris ex exhibits no other symptoms. He is affable and friendly, able to empathize and offer original opinions. Yep, sounds like most uh, sociopathic murderous lunatics. Um, when questioned about Evans' murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and uncommunicative. He claims the explanation is stuck in his mind and that talking about it mixes 
of its message. He also undergoes intermittent hallucinatory periods, again similar to those experienced by other colonists. During his long waking periods, Harris exhibits writing behavior on any available service, claiming the dreams need to speak and that he's attempting to make it whole again. What that means, I haven't determined yet. <laughs> Given the complexities of this case, I plan to reach out to my colleagues for more insight. Make it whole again. Now, we've heard that before, folks, if you're long-term Dead Space fans. You want to know what that means. Now, if we turn all the lights off, and we get this little fella. Oh, my God, it's Nicole. Sugar, sugar, sugary shit. Sugary, sugary shit. Sugary shit. Nicole, I do not have time to listen to you right now. Can't, can you not understand that? Oh, hi there. Uh. Hi! Yo, I think we've got more company. Yo, we've got definitely more company. Sugary, sugary, sugary shit. Sugar sprinkled, sugar sprinkled shit. Sugar sprinkled shit. Sugar sprinkled shit, sugar sprinkled. Need to keep moving. Oh. Don't run from me, you little shit. Where did you go? Where did you go? Yeah, have some of that. Have some of that. With your sh with your schmack. I'm very low on ammo. This is not good. That was a certain kind of fun. <laughs> it could have gone better. Level two security clearance required. A lot of good you are. Your damn security clearance. Don't you know it's an emergency? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh well. Okay, well we got the door open, but uh, we never did hear what Nicole was saying. Uh-huh. Can we... Ah, play. Yeah, let's put the lights back on, shall we? Apparently we can't do that, okay. These uh, spiky, spiky thingy majiggies, pretty good at impaling. Uh-huh. Oh, look what I found. Look what I found. Okay, okay. Now what? What do we do now? Huh? What do we do now? Pick one of these things back up again. In case anybody else comes to say hi. Right, well, clearly because I've opened that, I've got to go in there, and then I've got to transfer it over to the other side so I can go in the other side. But right now, we're going to listen to... Nicole. Move and transmit all personnel. 
This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan. Medical is overwhelmed. We need help. Look at his wounds. We can't handle so many trauma cases, and the command crew won't tell us what's happening. Oh, seizing. Shit. <clears throat> Maybe I have some PHP left. Whoa. Where'd she go? She went in there. Okay. And I cannot get through it. I've obviously got to put the thingy bob in there and... And then work the thingy-majig. So that means I've got to go in here first now. Oh yes, there's going to be more friends in here, you can bet. More of our least favourite friends. I knew it! I knew it! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to go and get a, one of those spiky thingy me jigs. You really think I'm going to play with you without one of them? You are definitely mistaken. Good job you don't know how to open a door. Because you're too stupid. <laughs> he says before he fails to open the door properly. Where are you? Where are you? Huh? So now we're playing hide and seek? What? A lot of nerve. Damn you, you... Annoying thing. Okie dokie. Have a little bit of that, can't you? That's what you can have. You can have a little bit of that. I got a head. I got a head. A package? Okay. Alright then. Okay. I won't. Okay. All right then. Now that damn little thing is around here somewhere. He's, he's gone into hiding, but he's still here. God dang numbit. Okie dokie, well, uh, you know, I just keep getting lost in these hallways. <laughs> All the doors look the same. Yeah, okay, uh, yeah, that's where we came from, right, okay, let's keep going, can't go that way. Uh, aha! Holding on to this for a little while. Thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you kindly. Yo, somebody's alive? I don't get it. How can they be alive? That doesn't make any... Oh. Yeah. I think she's lost it. Hi there. Um. No, please don't. Oh. Oh. Yipers, jipers. That was not what I would uh, recommend. 
I don't think that's what the doctor ordered. I don't think. I don't think so. I have lost my... I've lost my stick thing. Hang on. Dropped it literally just here and it's just... It's just disappeared. The stick has disappeared. That is annoying. Never mind. Thanks for joining me. This was Dead Space Remake. Um, please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. I am Ehe Saldraz, and I'll be seeing you in the next video.